drop it. Hey guys, Seth here, and it's time for another installment of poking myself with a needle. So, I mean, usually I wouldn't because I've already done a video on poking myself with a needle, but that was the intramuscular needles, and I have since switched to sub-Q because my anxiety made it so I could not even poke myself in the leg anymore. So, yeah, <laughs> that was bad. It was partially because of my... A needle shooting out like a rocket and then partially because I screwed up again and then it hurt and then it was just like uh, -uh not doing that anymore but now I have a different method which I'm going to show you which is really much easier especially if you have a lot of stomach fat also do you like my outfit <laughs> uh, anyway you have to see my lovely non hairy non masculine Stomach. Good enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start by washing my dirty paws. Okay. Okay, we got the paper towel again, but we're just gonna keep on going. So I've already put it in the needle as uh, per usual with the red, uh, whatever it's called. A uh, red blunt fill needle, so that's a thing. <laughs> so all that was the same, same for putting it in the needle. Trigger warning, which is really late. I'm talking about needles, and also I am going to be showing you it being put into my stomach this time. So yeah, trigger warning. Anyways, this is the different needle though. Like, seriously tiny needle. You can barely even see it on camera, it's so tiny. The other ones were like freaking terrifyingly long <laughs> and really thick. But these ones are tiny, teeny tiny. And yeah, so this one's a lot easier. So here's my lovely belly. So <clears throat> the injection area is actually quite simple. You just make a cross over your belly button, like that. And then you have these four squares in which you can inject. Um, last time I did it on this side, so I'm going to do it right here this time. Right there. Yeah. Right there. So, see, it's a lot easier to find the spot. No double guessing. Whatever. You're just sticking it into fat. Um, Anyways, I'm going to put the needle on first before I disinfect, so there's one last thing I have to do. Also, these needles are prettier. They have like a little thing that you can put up so you can like, stab yourself after you uh, inject, which I find really cool. Okay, so it's the same thing. Just a twist it on like usual. And then yeah, push up until you see a little knot. Oh, you can only see because the camera is not good. Okay, well, I can do that on my own. Oh, there we go. A little bead. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Uh, oh, yeah, you can. Okay. And then you just take off the cap, like usual. Stab it off. Oop. As you can see, it was mostly cap, because look at how tiny that is. So, <laughs> yeah. Not really too much of an issue. So, uh, mm, notes to everyone watching, don't pre-prepare your shots. Like, I know it's tempting, because then you're like, there's less for me to do when I stick her in. Why not do it like the night before or something? Don't. Just don't. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> That's just my advice. Just don't. I'm going to, again, so it's, if it's a little hard for you to see, but... Primarily, I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing. So, yeah. Right there. Right there. And then it's just simple. We just... 
curl all the way in and push down on the needle. See, it's a lot easier, a lot more painless, a lot harder to press down on the needle. And I suggest you go slowly because, um, well, leakage is quite a problem sometimes. And keep yourself relaxed. There you go. All the way down to the bottom. And at this point, it would be good to leave it in for like, I don't know, a couple seconds or something. Just so you have minimal leakage. That, that's probably good. And shove it out. Put your cotton swab. I'm too cheap to buy cotton swabs. Uh, more like I just keep forgetting. And then, oops, put your band aid on it. Put the hole. Oh god, I can't even find the hole. Okay. <laughs> See, that, that's how, <laughs> how much it doesn't even do anything <laughs> because I couldn't even find the goddamn hole. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And the cool thing with this needle is that afterwards you can just go like this. There we go. Push up with your thumb here. And it locks so you don't stab yourself. <clears throat> uh, which is good because if you're like me, then you'll probably. <laughs> stab yourself at least once but anyways uh yeah that's the sub q shot and it's a lot easier it's a lot less anxiety causing like i didn't get dizzy or anything during that whole thing and i was just like whatever <laughs> so it's it's probably better i mean especially if you are anxious at the idea of stabbing a giant freaking needle inside your leg which i Definitely am a lot more than I originally thought I was. But yeah, there's the little guy. And no problem if you don't have any stomach fat like I do. It still works. <laughs> you're, you're still good. I, I even asked her about that. I was like, I plan to get ripped, so <laughs> what will happen then? And she's like, oh no, it's okay. So yeah, it's all good. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna clean up my needles and stuff, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!